A viewer had commented that he had watched a, a video I created on getting data from Yahoo Finance and downloading it and was quite upset because they are now charging for that. So here I've called up, I'm at uh, finance.yahoo.com and I typed in the ticker for Berkshire Hathaway and I've gotten, and I went over here to historical data and I have some data. I picked uh, five years of data, but and this is daily data, but we could have had, um, you know, dividends only, stock splits, gains. We could have had weekly or monthly data. And I could pick the dates myself, or I can use, uh, you know, one year, five year, or the max. So I've got five years of data here. And, you know, this is where you used to download the data to click this on and it would download it but unfortunately Yahoo is now charging for this and you know we're on the free site and so I was curious as to at which tier do you need to be in order to get the free data and so I looked the bronze level at 795 a month um, I guess if you pay in advance you know doesn't seem to have it the 1995 a month doesn't seem to have it. You have to pay $39.95 a month to get, uh, where is this, someplace in here, export historical data to CSVs. And that's a problem. I mean, yes, if you're working, uh, you're doing really serious work, you may want to pay that. If you happen to work for, um, you know, a, a financial corporation, you probably already have access to the data. If you're a high-level academic researcher, you may have access to the CRISP tapes, Center for Research on Security Prices. It comes out of the University of Chicago. But for students who are doing perhaps a term paper or uh, maybe a senior thesis, or for faculty members who may want students to just access a little bit of data, this is a problem. $40 a month is, is a lot. So I came on Yahoo Finance to see if there was a solution to this problem. And there's really an, a very easy solution. You can actually cut and paste this into Excel. Um, I maybe shouldn't be making this uh, video because if Yahoo gets hold of this, they may figure out how to keep you from doing that. So I think the easiest way to do this is to um, reduce the font and it's it you don't have to do it but I'm holding the control and the hyphen or the minus sign and let me see here and it's making the page smaller it just means you don't have to scroll quite as much and I'm simply gonna highlight what I want I'm going to right click the mouse, I'm going to copy, and I'm going to go into a, an Excel file, and then right click the mouse, and hit paste. And there it is. All right. I think the only real difference is, is that when you used to get the CSV files, they used to be in chronological order instead of reverse chronological order. Well, that's easy enough to take care of. We can simply uh, sort this data. So let me uh, just highlight that, and I'm going to hold the control, shift, and the down arrow key, so it just highlights all my data. And I'm going to go to data, sort, and I'm going to say sort by date, and I want oldest to newest, and there we have it. All right, I picked Berkshire because they don't pay a dividend. If they paid a dividend, you would have data in here that you might want to delete the row. You don't want to use it. The adjusted close price is the price that uh, adjusts for splits and dividends. Well, let's make sure this works because sometimes you cut and paste things into Excel and you can't actually use the data or do a computation. So let's see here. I want to calculate the return. So I'm going to come over here. I'll call this return. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to say equals. Um, this price here on the 5th divided by the price on the 4th 
minus 1. All right, and I get a return. Does it look correct? Yes, the price has gone down. Looks okay. I can um, fill in this by dragging and dropping or just coming here and then double clicking the left mouse key. And so I have all my data. And if I want to just plot that, let me see what, what I can do here. Um, let's go to insert and we'll say recommended and you can have different kinds of graphs here you can see the the price is, is bouncing around all over the place but you can see I've got the data it did the calculations easy to download um, the only thing you have to do is perhaps sort it so that you're in chronological order because most of us want the data going from um, the oldest data to the newest data but super easy to do still free so don't be disheartened by the fact that uh, Yahoo Finance is charging you so I hope you, you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching